a KQED television production. It's like holy mother of comfort food. Throw it down, it's noodle crack. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter. Okay, I'm the bacon guy, right? <laughs> Oh, it just did one. a jig every time I dipped into it. It just <laughs> completely blew really? my mind. I felt like I had a mouthful of raw vegetables and dry dough. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert first. Yes. It, uh, <laughs> told me to wait. <laughs> Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru online at Subaru.com. Located at the Southern Gateway to Napa, Jamison Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport. Offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Thank you. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, branding account manager Doug Kim knows about product labels. Although for him, flavor is the mark of success. Price is irrelevant, high or low. It's the food that blows his mind. And landscape designer Kathy Teague has quite the green thumb and loves to garden. Candid and focused, she's rooted in elegant aesthetics, picking flowers and restaurants with the same delicate skill. But first, flight attendant Kara Braxton takes off around the world for flavors that take her up, up and away. But the real satisfaction comes when she lands at home and visits an old Victorian with a martini glass logo in Pinole. It's called the Pinole Creek Cafe. Pinole Creek Cafe is a family-owned and operated neighborhood restaurant that features California comfort food. And my name is Raymond Kim, and I'm the manager here at Pinole Creek Cafe. My parents immigrated here uh, back in the 1980s from South Korea, and I uh, started Pinole Creek Cafe about 26 years ago. My mom never had any experience uh, cooking before, and she learned by herself uh, with some help with some friends and other chefs. Now uh, she just loves cooking any type of food. So my mom and dad really focus on uh, fresh, uh, local, seasonal ingredients, and they actually go to the market every day to prepare for uh, the evening service. And uh, we make everything in-house. The building is an old Victorian home. It's uh, one of the oldest in Pinole. The room I'm in now is the original home. Back in the 90s, we added uh, the room we call the greenhouse, and that's the most popular room that everyone likes to dine in. On warm nights, uh, we have all the windows open, you get a nice breeze. I would say everyone loves to come to our restaurant because it feels like home. They love to see you know, my dad, you know, he knows everyone by name. He's really into the classic cocktails and martinis. Everyone comes uh, looking for Raymond's cocktails, which are known for being filled up all the way to the top of the glass until you have to use a straw to, to start it off. All right, Kara, when you get off that plane and you're driving home from the airport and you're dreaming of Pinole Creek Cafe, what is the dish that sings to you? Uh, my favorite, it's their uh, pork chop. And it's, it's brine, it's in a, a juniper brine, and it's so juicy, so flavorful. It comes with a grainy mustard sauce, mm -hmm. but you don't even need the sauce. Right. And the portions are very large. I mean, I can, you get two large French cut pork chops. And those chops, they're so big, I usually am taking one home 
and having it for breakfast the next day with some eggs. Ooh, that mm -hmm. sounds good. That's right. It's a really good home cooked meal. Yes. I feel like when I when I walk, even when you walk in the door, mm -hmm. it's it's not a restaurant feel. It's like you feel like you're in someone's home. It's like your friend's mom invited you over for dinner, and she she did up this this fantastic meal for you. Right. And so, it is a Victorian. And yeah. It's Victorian, it's a Victorian right? And mm -hmm. it's the second oldest Victorian in Panola. Well, when they it called is, me and right. said, "Have you ever been to Panola?" I'm like, "I don't even know where Panola is." <laughs> Right there. It yeah. was an adventure, absolutely. <laughs> so you had, when you did the prefix, which is three mm -hmm. courses. The fixed price meal is a great value. Mm -hmm. What did you have for your I stuff? had for my salad, it was a mixed salad with a bunch of stuff in it that most of it, it didn't end up coming together as flavors, but everything was nice and fresh. It had candied walnuts or something else in it too, which was very good. But I ordered the salmon, the wild salmon, which was delicious, but the serving was like three three ounces, so really? it was not very generous. Oh. It was delicious. Yeah, it was oh, delicious with the lemon, with the lemon sauce. Or Blanc, yeah. yeah. But what I really wanted to comment on was the meatloaf, which my friend ordered, which was probably the worst meatloaf <gasps> I've no ever seen in my bad. life. It was all filler. People rave about that meatloaf. And it was meatloaf. terrible. It was the worst meatloaf. You're but kidding. my dinner was delicious. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints about it. But Did um, everybody get their hug? <laughs> I didn't get the hug. I think I was, was, was great. I think you should take hugs wherever you can get them. I'll give you a hug. Uh, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Uh, but I will say the host and the host's uh, son, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raymond uh, Jr. Probably the nicest people I've ever been greeted by at a restaurant. I mean, they really make you feel home there. Right. It seems yeah. like he knew everyone, whether they've been there once or, you know, five times. He treated everyone like family. Um, his wife runs the kitchen. Yeah. She learned how to cook American food out of necessity for the business, mm -hmm. and she owns it. I mean, yeah. like I said, it's, it's American comfort food. Uh, so my wife had the uh, seafood pasta, mm -hmm. casserole, I don't know what it's called, but it's just filled with, with tons of Dungeness crab and fresh shrimp um, in a creamy sauce and baked. It comes out in this little casserole dish, which I thought was gonna be tiny. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's, it's like that for a reason because it's so hearty and it's so, it's a little heavy. Mm -hmm. But in, in in the way that you'd expect. So again, it's just complete comfort food and just just really really um, well seasoned and, and just a really well made dish. I had the uh, prime rib, mm -hmm. which is oh my God. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like unreal how good it is. It's yeah. perfectly seasoned. Did you it, go for the rare. The you know, uh, I asked for medium rare. I think that's the only way to enjoy a good piece of steak. But. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was perfectly marbled, it was fatty, it was it was meaty, it, it was fantastic. The aju on top of it just made it super moist. I, I honestly feel that it rivals anything I've had from House of Prime Rib in San Francisco. Ah, which is yeah. the benchmark, really. Which is really the benchmark, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a bold statement, but I'm gonna put it out there. So, it's surprising to hear that the meatloaf was- It was, was really terrible. Good. And I tried to order the Prime Rib, but it was sold out already. And I think our reservation was for 6.30 or 7. I don't mm -hmm. remember exactly. People love the Prime Rib. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta get there first. <laughs> for breakfast too the yeah. next day because right. you get a, a nice large cut yeah and I'll take that home and have it for breakfast oh, it, too. are you supposed to save <laughs> a little bit of it because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that memo <laughs> yeah did you feel like you got value out of like, absolutely meals? I thought it was a great value mm -hmm. the price fix yeah. menu is actually the best still going on the menu and he'll recommend it and everything was done right when it should have been done and the food arrived when it should have arrived and everything was hot and I think the service was excellent good we mm -hmm. didn't talk about dessert when I get the creme brulee and it's, it's, yeah. isn't it wonderful? It's, it's just that little crust at the top that, is awesome. Oh, that's the best part yeah. of it. It's a sugary top. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. sugary top, you, you break into it, it's caramelized, you break into it, and then it's just so moist and smooth and creamy. I didn't, really? I had the sundae, which I thought was okay, just like a regular old ice cream you sundae. And I need to, you and I need yeah. to design it. I know. I got no, 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 a new baby, forget <laughs> it. Wait till you, till you review <laughs> Shanghai House. You'll need a whole bottle of that one. Yeah, wait till you hear Shanghai House. Yeah, anyway. Um, I can only imagine. I mean, I'm not complaining about the restaurant. I thought it was good. <laughs> That's right. You just need to go yeah. back with Kara. Yeah. 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 All right. This is your spot. Give us a quick wrap up. If you want some home cooked food, comfort food, and a big hug, that's the place to go. All right, and Kathy? If you happen to live anywhere near there, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, and Doug? It's like your friend's mom asked you to come over for dinner and it's American comfort food done right. All right, if you would like to try Pinole Creek Cafe, it's on San Pablo Avenue at Pinole Valley Road in Pinole. The telephone number is 510-724-1040. It's open every night for dinner except Monday. Reservations are recommended and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $35.
Chinese regional cuisine varies enormously, and Doug loves the flavors from China's famous eastern city facing the East China Sea. His place isn't luxurious, but ah, that's not what he's about. Flavor is the name of his game, and he finds it on Balboa Street in San Francisco at Shanghai House. This is my dad, Kim Young Luke. Uh, he's the owner and chef of Shanghai House, and I'm his son, Stanley Luke. He's been in the restaurant business pretty much his whole life. Uh, he learned how to cook in Hong Kong. Most of the dishes are dishes that he grew up eating himself or um, he picked up in Hong Kong. Um, and some are just ones that he just got creative and decided, hey, it tastes great. We have two different menus here, and one of the menus is very traditional Shanghainese. Um, the other menu is much more American, and by American I mean more of a Cantonese style taste, which is very prevalent in the San Francisco Bay Area. Shanghai food tend to be a little bit more bold. Um, they also tend to be a little sweeter, so you have to cook it longer in order to get the flavors out. The eight precious noodle soup contains eight separate ingredients, such as salt, sugar, uh, vinegar. All those items were really hard to come by when he was growing up, so people call it eight precious because you only have it once a year. What's up? So he gets very delighted when he sees people say his food, his cooking is delicious, and it makes him very happy. All right, Doug, can you say chicken wings? Chicken wings it is. That's the name <laughs> of the game here. Um, I've never been to Shanghai. Um, my friend just got back from Shanghai. He told me a lot of stories about Shanghai, but Shanghai House is my go-to meal in San Francisco. It's a meal that you can always rely on. The chicken wings are fantastic. That's what they're known for. Mm -hmm. My favorite dish now, um, it's a new one, the salt and pepper pork knuckle, which is actually not a knuckle, by the way. It's apparently, I think, the part of the shoulder. It's braised, it seasons perfectly, and it just falls apart with your fork or uh, with your chopsticks. And it's sprinkled with these sugary fried bits of seaweed, which is really, sounds really bizarre, but it's fantastic. And prior to that, there was this eight precious noodle soup, which is this completely hearty, comforting noodle soup. It's not ramen, but it reminds me of ramen in the sense that it's a hearty meal, and it's just great on a cold, foggy night in the Richmond. And there's two menus. There's the Shanghai yes. menu, yeah. and there's the mm -hmm. other people menu, right? You know, it's, it's funny that you... <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you talk about the menus, because I never look off the menu. Yeah. I had the, the dried fried chicken wings. They were phenomenal. It looked like it had been dried and fried, and you're going, <laughs> oh boy, because it's a really thick crust. Mm -hmm. And when I bit into it, the, the chicken was so succulent. I was like, oh my god, I can eat this whole thing. And they're generous portions. It's generous portions. Did you, you feel, feel that, Kathy, that these were generous portions? Well, uh, not particularly. OK. Um, I decided I would order from the Shanghai menu because uh -huh. after all we wanted to try their local regional cuisine and I've actually spent a lot of time in China and Asia and I've been to Shanghai several times and I have to say that my food there was probably the worst I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, my god. oh my god. <laughs> I ordered braised pork with dry vegetables and it arrived eventually. Now, most of the dishes were like thrown on the table. I won't even go into the fact the tea was spilled and nobody mopped it up and we didn't have any chopsticks and none Isn't of that. Awesome? The service I doesn't think it matter. Adds to the charm, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the thing my friend ordered was so hot he couldn't even eat it. He was crying. And the dish I ordered was like a half a pound of sliced uncooked bacon with in a brown sauce with not a vegetable to be seen. It was disgusting. And nobody said, I don't think you want to order this. It's like raw bacon with not, no vegetables. But nobody said that. Nobody, it, it didn't matter. I have actually had the dish, you have? yeah. OK, it, it was like raw bacon. No, it, it was just, <laughs> it, it's just OK. I don't usually order. I, I'm just curious as to why you ordered that when there are so many other places. My recommendations usually come from when I go to a new restaurant is, what do you guys recommend? Because I want to know what their marquee dish is. Right. So, uh, you know, like, they, she, she the offered owners. one time. Yeah, yeah, the owners. She always directs me to dishes that I would never think about ordering. Right. Yes. Nobody asked us what, what, about what we were ordering. I said one word about what pro, we were ordering. You gotta be proactive, yeah. man, you know, in this world. <laughs> I mean, no, she, it was, go the service it. was so brusque. You know, people, the waitress was like hitting the, people in the you head. You've been to China. I mean, I, 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 I don't understand like China. what your standard is if, yeah. if you've been to China several times. And, you know, you're, you're, you're thinking, this is not wait table clock for the service. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I know you like it. No, no. I want your honest opinion. I'm just, I'm just curious. What else did you have? Well, I had the dumplings, the Xiaolong Bao, which 
I loved that. Yeah, they were delicious. And you get a nice helping. They were actually delicious. You know, everybody gets those, the steamed dumplings, and they were great. I've been to places where you try to pick them up, because I'm not the best chopstick person, and they'll fall apart. They're a little right. it's hard. And things, when they yeah. fall apart, then you, it's the fun's all gone out of it. But these, they stayed together, and then I just stuffed the whole thing in my mouth. It was like the a flavor there. explosion in my mouth. You know, if you <laughs> ever choose to go back, they have a pan-fried version of that, which just completely blew really? my mind, yes. Oh. Um, it comes out in this beautiful presentation, but it's the same thing. It's a thicker skin, mm -hmm. um, but it's pan-fried, so you get the crispiness at the bottom, and there's mm -hmm. still soup inside. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like it's... Like pot stickers. No. Oh, no. No. Um, like good. Shanghai soup dumplings, but, okay. but fried, yeah. yeah. And then I had the, uh, the banana, the honey banana. They're deep fried like in a batter that you would get like tempura in. Mm -hmm. And they were covered with sesame seeds. And then they made this honey glaze. Very interesting dessert that you would never think to have because I thought I was just going to get a banana on the plate with some honey glaze over it. And what about the green onion pancake? Mm -hmm. That was delicious. The appetizers were great. Mm -hmm. I have no complaint about those whatsoever. It was like a crispy flatbread and it had like, it little, tasted like a little oil on top. But it was mm -hmm. very good. We loved that. Okay. Nobody asked us if we wanted dessert. So I didn't have any dessert. I didn't have those fried bananas, which sound really oh, good. God, so I don't know, good. Kathy. You sounds like you. You had a few things you liked there, though. Mm -hmm. Two. 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 <laughs> so you were. So hold on. Let me just get this straight. So you walked into a place like Shanghai House, where the decor is is pretty plain. You knew you were gonna get down and dirty Chinese eat. Yeah, not expensive. And you expected someone to come up to you and ask you if you wanted dessert. <laughs> I mean, I, trust me. From, from a business no, perspective, I understand that. No, we even had to ask for the check, and you know what? The fortune cookies weren't even well, of good fortune. For the check. <laughs> right, I, I need you to wrap this up for me fast. It's fast. Best bang for your buck meal in San Francisco. I'm not even gonna say Chinese meal. It's a ba best bang for your buck meal in San Francisco. All right, and Kara? Uh, same thing. Bang for your buck. Best food ever, and I would go there again. Okay. And Kathy? <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> All right, if you would like to try Shanghai House, just don't go with Kathy. <laughs> Never, no. It is on Balboa at 37th Avenue in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-831-9288. It is open every day for lunch and dinner, closed on Tuesdays. Reservations are accepted for parties of six or more. And the average tab without drinks is under $15, cash only. Time for a dive down under. Australia made a splash in our country decades ago with fruit-driven, affordable wine. Nothing wrong with that. But Aussie Reds offer more complexity and regional diversity than ever before. Now, for hundreds of years, Australia focused on fortified sweet wines. But since around the 1970s, it's been a red lover's playground. Shiraz, otherwise known as Syrah, plays lead. One of the most iconic wines in the world, Penfolds Grange, put Australia on the world wine map. Now, while this rare red may not be on your shopping list, look for supple, succulent Shiraz from South Australia's Barossa Valley and Cabernet Sauvignon stars as well. These stylish versions from Western Australia's Margaret River are ones to seek out. Now, are you a Pinot person like me? Try bottlings from the cool climate Yarra Valley and sparkling Pinots from the island of Tasmania. Mm, my idea of a good day. With sweeping views of the city and the Golden Gate Bridge, Kathy appreciates the grounds as well as the perfectly preserved buildings housing her elegant dining destination. At Cavallo Point in Sausalito, it's called Murray Circle. When I first was invited to visit Cavallo Point and Murray Circle, my jaw dropped just at the beauty that was here, the natural beauty, and it's just so inspiring to be the chef here. Hi, my name is Justin Everett, and I'm executive chef of Murray Circle and Farley Bar. The concept behind Cavallo Point and Murray Circle is nature, nurture, culture, and adventure. And it's how we've designed our whole menu, and it's, it's the philosophy of pretty much everything we do. We source our ingredients right from the farm, so a lot of times your carrots are going to be coming in still with dirt on them from the field, uh, which we prefer. Definitely is aligned with our beliefs and the support of our local community. The majority of our meat is locally sourced and butchered here in-house. We use every bit of the animal that comes in the back door. Here at Cavallo Point, we have a beautiful, world-renowned spa. People come here to rejuvenate, and we don't want there to be a disconnect between that and eating in our restaurant. Besides Murray Circle, we also have Farley Bar, which is just adjacent. And it's a more relaxed club feel, and the menu reflects that. 
We want people to come to Kavala Point and have an experience that they couldn't have anywhere else in the world. We want them to leave feeling confident in the fact that everything that was put before them was of the highest quality. All right, Kathy, game on, sister. <laughs> It is your restaurant now. <laughs> We're elevating ourselves to yes. a, a, yes. a, a very white tablecloth yes. experience here, yes. aren't we? At, at and it's Red a Circle. fabulous restaurant with all locally sourced food. The chef was personally chosen by Joseph Humphreys, who was the original chef when it opened. Right. And I've always been happy that, you know, uh, people were bidding on this space, but a local entrepreneur was able to buy it and build the restaurant and improve the... That's right. You've got yeah. a lodge, you've yeah. got a spa, a cooking school, yeah. everything is it's at... It's beautiful. Tech and also the chef um, works Justin. with Marin Schools to improve the school lunches, which I thought was very impressive. But anyway, we were immediately seated at a beautiful table right in front of the fireplace, and our meal was delicious from beginning to end. My friend ordered the bouillabaisse. She ordered the small serving, and it was spectacularly served. You get a big bowl full of fresh seafood, and the broth is poured over at the table. Then they top it with a dried toast with aioli, which was fabulous. And you can order from the tasting menu, which I did. So I had a pasta stuffed with chestnuts in a brown butter sauce that was absolutely fabulous. And what about you? When you kicked off your meal, what did you have? You know, my meal started off with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what you were missing, Kathy. At the end. I had it. I had it. The bar it. is absolutely beautiful. That Farley bar. You the Farley bar. Yeah. hang out at the bar. Right? Yeah, I mean, and we, you know, we're catching up, we had a drink. We missed our reservation time because we were just having so much fun just kind of catching up and, and drinking these, these premium drinks here. Um, but we stepped over into the dining room, which I thought was a little bit stuffier. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I walked into this place and I wanted to hate it. I, I actually <laughs> was expecting to hate it. And then you take this long drive from the, from the bridge down to the bottom so and beautiful. it's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, Unbelievable. Now, why did you want to hate it? Because it was expensive and fancy and so... You know, I think of all the, all the restaurants that you could choose from in San Francisco, which is a total foodie town, um, I thought, okay, why are, we, why are we picking the hotel restaurant? But it was a fantastic meal. Um, um, I started off w with the... <laughs> were you, where were you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to get me. Oh, no. There's nothing to think about it. the restaurant. Right. <laughs> but uh, I started off personally with the marrow. Um, and it's a piece of bone that is cut in half. The presentation is amazing. It's got this fatty marrow inside of it. It's topped off with a marmalade and, and a little bit of sea salt. Just it is like, just... <laughs> it's, it's literally <laughs> oozing out. The fat's actually it's oozing, oozing out. out. It's like, can't stop eating it. The presentation was excellent, though. Um, and, you know, from that point on, it was, it was fantastic um, the whole way through. Our server was very, very nice. He recommended a salad of uh, field greens, champagne vinaigrette, feta cheese, and then at the bottom were hazelnuts. And I'm really kind of picky about having nuts in my food, but they were very, very good. And it was a nice serving. I had my mom with me, so it was kind of like we were on a date. <laughs> and she, she didn't want a big salad, and I wanted a salad, so we were able to split it. They didn't have a problem with that. I ordered the crispy skin trout, which was very good. Two pieces of it. It came on a bed of green beans, and it had a sunflower puree. The fish was tender. When you talk about crispy skin, you do have a tendency to overcook the meat, right, anything right. crispy. So, I mean, he did a very, very fantastic job. And Kathy, what about the duck? Well, my friend ordered the duck, and she really enjoyed it, and I, of course, tried it because I had to try everything. And I thought the combination, there were dates in the sauce. It was a big serving, like four slices of, of medium rare cooked duck, and it was the sauce was delicious. It was so rich and flavorful. It was really... I agree. The duck, the duck is amazing. Yeah, it was yeah. great. I had the uh, pork, uh, or the pork sampler, I think they call it. It's these pork medallions and then also uh, pork belly. It was unbelievable. It was just really moist, really well done. But I will say the bouillabaisse was the star of the show. Um, of the Amazing. Of the four main courses that we ordered. The, the bouillabaisse is just completely flavorful. It's, I know the Bay Area is known for chipino. Um, mm -hmm. and that added chorizo just really makes the dish, and, and it was phenomenal. Did you have the mac and cheese? I did have the mac and cheese, yes. Oh, my God. It was the rich quinoa, and creamy. Midnight Moon quinoa mac and cheese. Oh. I the best mac and cheese I've ever had. I didn't know anyone could make it with quinoa. <laughs> yeah, did I? It had a little nuttiness to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, just the cheese was very, it was sharp, very sharp. Yeah. And I mean, I 
almost devoured the whole. <laughs> Didn't give much to my mom. I <laughs> 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 was like, oh my God, this is so good. Right. And my mother had the uh, braised ribs. They have an incredible oh, wine yes, program. 15,000 bottles, 2,200 selections, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to, of course, cocktails, yes. things like Sazerac's at the, yes. at the Farley Bar. You can't have a you know meal at Marie Circle without some desserts. My friend and I shared the three butterscotch desserts, which included brown sugar ice cream and a couple of other little tastes of things. And they they all tasted good and it was perfect for two people to share because we were both pretty full by then. All right, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. A great special destination place. It's a beautiful location. Go when you can sit out on the patio. Wonderful restaurant. Great chef, delicious food, great service. All right, Kara? Uh, great food. A uh, wonderful destination. It would be a first and second date night place for me. <laughs> not with your mother. <laughs> All right, yeah, not with mom. <laughs> <laughs> and Doug. Uh, bougie meal, beautiful destination. All right, if you would like to try Murray Circle, it's at Cavallo Point at Fort Baker in Sausalito. The telephone number is 415-339-4750. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day with brunch on Sundays. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $50. I want to thank my opinionated guests on this week's show, <laughs> Kara Braxton, who becomes a part of the family at her warm welcoming spot at Pinole Creek Cafe in Pinole, Doug Kim and Shanghai House on Balboa in San Francisco, traditional flavors, classic dumplings, and simple service, and finally Kathy Teague and Murray's Circle at Cavallo Point, where Northern California cuisine meets a historic and elegant location. We really want to hear your thoughts about today's show and find out about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So go to our website at kqed.org slash check please where you'll find a lot more information and details on all the restaurants featured. You can watch a segment or download a whole show. You can also read my notes on the delicious wines we are drinking today. And don't forget you can stay in touch with us via Facebook and Twitter. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 <laughs> this show is available on demand and online. To watch an episode, find restaurant information, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check please. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers, opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Just 45 minutes from the Bay Bridge, Jameson Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamesonRanch.com Oakland International Airport, offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy vey sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. KQED television production.